Well, how do that, chums? It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there inside of the viewer verse, I have something freaking mind blowing. Yeah, not this planet, although this planet is freaking ace. I mean, look at that rock formation. Look at the bump mapping on that. This freaking ace. And there are droids upon this planet, chums. And look at the head. It looks like the rear end of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> How cool is that droid? It's awesome, isn't it? And talking of the Millennium Falcon, this planet has a build on it, chums, of the Millennium Falcon. So, yeah, we are going to go... Oh, look, there's a base there. It says, where is the Falcon? Well, that's a good question, base builder. Yeah, let's, let's head to that base first, because I am not seeing the Millennium Falcon base anywhere in visible range. I'm seeing quite a fair few planets here with a fair few bases upon them, including that's a Corellian sand crawler. That's a visit. AT what? Frickin' workshop? Oh wow, we've got some interesting sounding bases with inside the near vicinity, but I'm not seeing one for the Millennium Falcon. So let's fly on up and let's see where we can go first. I'm just snazzing in the sights of this awesome planet. Freaking awesome. I'm loving the blues. It's beautiful. Righto, here we go. We've handed into this base here by Will Badger. Will Badger's base. I like your name. I do like badgers and the black and white stripy dudes. Holy fudge. Is that an at at? It is an at at. That's freaking ace, isn't it? Wow. That is probably one of the most solid attack builds I've seen. Oh, there's a TIE Fighter and two X-Wings. You freaking having a laugh. This is bloody excellent. Right, well, let's go into camera mode. Let's have a little snazz at this. Righto. Well, this TIE Fighter is looking pretty darn sturdy. Oh, my days. How the fudge has he put this together? That looks like a blender build. That is so freaking excellent. Look at the window. It's got a little seat in there and everything. I half expected Darth Vader to be sitting in the Bladenkin thing. That's awesome. Look at this. How? Just how has he done this? That is mental. Look at the actual metal panels and how they've been sort of smudged together. It, it looks almost like a prefab. That is mental. I have no idea how he's done such beautiful lines upon this at -at. This is amazing. I love the use of the lights on the bottom of the feet. I didn't know you could scale them up that big. This is mentals. Oh, I like all this. This is cool. It's actually a workable base. You can actually set off every day from inside of this base. This is pretty darn freaking sweet. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a freaking combat unit. It's got loads of benches, loads of multi-tools, multiple floors of benches and multi-tools like that. You could get a whole freaking fleet of freaking stormtroopers in there. That is so cool. I love the use of the little lasers as well. That's so cool. Look at that. We've got two X-Wings. We've got a TIE Fighter and an at, at And we haven't even gone to see the Millennium Falcon build. The whole reason I've come here is to look at the Millennium Falcon build. But you know what? This is freaking stunning. This is freaking epic. Will Badger, you've done good. You've done freaking awesome, in fact, Will Badger. That is freaking excellent. I love that. That is really, really awesome. Righto. Well, I'm not seeing the Millennium Falcon base in close proximity. But there we go. I've now found it. It is actually quite close to Where's the Falcon base by Will Badger. Now, this base is by Travis. I know Travis inside of the verse. And yeah, he goes by the name of USAF. And uh, he's got his own channel. So yeah, I put a link in the top right hand corner to his channel so you can go check this out he has been doing this build in succession on quite a few different live videos so you can actually see how he put this together and it has been a, a labor of love so let's head on over and let's have a better look at this oh my days even the underside of this ship i'm loving the looking landing gear that is so awesome let's have a better look at the landing gear that is freaking epic look at that how cool is that Okay, chums, now I grew up on Star Wars. I remember coming down one Christmas morning, seeing a massive box under the tree, and hoping that it would be the Millennium Falcon. I opened up said packaging, and yes, it was the Millennium Falcon. I got it out of the box, and there was a massive sheet of stickers. And I just turned and looked at my dad. My dad was like, oh, fudging heck. <laughs> I know who's sticking those on. Yes, my dad. 
and uh, we spent the best part of Christmas morning sticking the stickers on my Millennium Falcon together. It was quite a nice little bonding session. Heck yes it was. And then the rest of the day was me standing my little figures inside of frickin' said Millennium Falcon and making pew pew noises. And it was a frickin' awesome Christmas. And yes, oh look at this. Ah, oh, he's even got the ch hello, hollow chest table. Freaking what? Okay, well, let's go down this corridor. Let's see where this goes. Oh, wow. I'm loving this. That engine room I was in earlier, chums, where I was talking about my Christmas morning. I loved all the movement in there. Has to be said, that was a stroke of genius. But this hollow chest table, awesome. I almost want a Wookiee to be sitting there so I can have a game. Right, well, let's head on into here. And, uh, yeah, let's, hopefully this can take me to the cockpit. Let's have a quick look-see. And it does. And look at the cockpit. It's freaking sublime. It's got a power switch as well. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. If this whole base explodes, phew, it didn't. But um, that would have been pretty epic. Oh, look at the sun coming up as well. Freaking great. I'm loving it. I like the way they just use the cables. I was hoping to sit in that chair. Darn it. Okay. Right, hopefully I haven't destroyed the actual seating position for that giant Wookiee rest. I'm gonna, he's going to tear my freaking arms off. Right, so let's head on through here. Yeah, I like the use of the cables as like the steering column. What is that hologram of? Is that a ship or something? I don't know. Right, well, we're going to climb the ladder. And it's not going anywhere. Well, it should take me to the gun turret. Oh, it has taken me to the gun turret. Uh-oh, I think I might be stuck. No, I'm not. I jumped out like a freaking possessed grasshopper. Nice one. I love the little satellite dish on the top. I love everything about this build. It's freaking ace. Yeah, so Travis, you've done yourself good, my friend. This is freaking so cool. So on point. Very, very, very awesome. There are so many things about this build that are so on point. You've captured almost every... De oh, fudge and heck. Look at the engines. How the heck have you done this? That is beautifully done. That is just sublime. There's no other word for it. That is that is a work of freaking art. That is beautiful. Travis, wow, I, I want to give you a round of applause. Well, Will's Badger's base was freaking ace. Travis's base is freaking ace. The, if all the bases in this system are of this quality. This could be one of the best build systems I've come across. So here we go. USAF 1209. Awesome. Like I said, I put a, I put a link already to his channel earlier. I put a link to one of his videos right now. So you can jump on over and probably see the final sort of tour of this base done by him. So that is so cool. And the fact that he's got droids is such a bonus. I mean, look at these. I love that one with the snail type shell on his back. You know what? I'm going to pet him. I'm going to pet him. I'm going to ride him. He's going to be my new friend. Adopt companion. Yes, it has been adopted. I'm going to be climbing upon the heck yes I am and we are going for a ride. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Look at him go. That is so epic. You know what? I'm going to let you take a little listen to the music that's playing right now. So, chums, this is actually in creative mode, as you probably already gathered when I gave the coordinates earlier. So, yeah, I, I'm i finding the bases render super well inside of creative mode. Inside of normal mode, I have so many freaking bugs and issues. So, yeah, creative seems to be about the most stable environment for me on PlayStation 5. Don't know about you guys, but I'm going to take on off. I'm going to fly to another base in this system. Okay, so let's have a quick look, see. So this is by Pez. I know of Pez. Pez builds awesome builds. Let's fly on down and let's see what Pez has built here. So this doesn't actually ring a bell to me in the Star Wars verse. Now, I am a Star Wars fan, but am I as big a nerd of Star Wars as I am in other sci-fi? I'm not a, a really sure, to be fair. I mean, I know most of the characters. I know most of the ships. And yes, I had most of the toys when I was a kid. 
and I grew up on Star Wars, but I don't recognise the name of this base, and I don't recognise the thing that's floating above said base. We're going to have a look at the actual base structure first, and then have a look at what's floating above it in a moment. But here we go, let's uh, take a land, and we'll have a look see around. I was kind of hoping to see Slave 1 or something. You know, the Boba Fett ship, that'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's jump on out of here, and let's have a quick look see around. Okay, so we've got a tower here, which is pretty darn sweet. I'm liking the structure. It does look in keeping with the Star Wars verse, it has to be said. So let's jump into camera mode. And you know what? Let's have a better look at this. I'm liking this. That's pretty darn freaking sweet. But again, yes, I haven't seen anything like this inside the Star Wars universe before. But that could just be me. Let's put the sun in the sky. We'll have a look at that thing that's floating above in a moment. But that is pretty darn sweet. I'm loving this, how it sort of amalgamates into the snow. It does almost look like something out of Empire Strikes Back, to be fair. I like the staircase going up there, and the metal structure just sort of works, doesn't it? This really does pop inside of the landscape and the space where Pez has chosen to put this build. This is freaking awesome. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Like, look, you can even see inside. There's a load of sort of power generators in there. That really adds to it. Like it. And what is that thing up there? I wonder if I can teleport up there. Let's go in here. Boom. I think I teleported downwards. I saw a slight shift in my screen's camera going down for some reason. So yeah, I've watched the uh, nine main films. I've watched some of the spin-offs like Solo and Rogue Squadron. But have I actually seen all of the Clone Wars and the sort of digitised stuff? No, no I have not. I have been watching The Mandalorian. Mandalorian's freaking ace. Have I seen a structure like that I'm seeing inside of this base? No. But you know what? It kind of looks in keeping, doesn't it? Actually, this almost looks like E.T. spaceship, but with legs. It's pretty darn awesome. Quite like it. It's like a mini Death Star tripod type amalgamation type thing. It does kind of sit in with the Star Wars-esque universe. Yeah, it's more Star Wars than any other sci-fi program that I've seen. In fact, actually, this could sit inside a Battlestar. I could imagine Cylon ships flying out of this little kitty. It's freaking awesome. Like it a lot. Yes. Very cool, very nice, very awesome. I love it. Okay, righto. Well, I think there's one other Pez base with inside of this system. We'll go and have a look at the other Pez base, I think, Jump. So here we go. Let's get into my ship and let's go soar on over to the other Pez base. So again, it's got a name, Clawcraft. I... I I don't recognise Clawcraft from the Star Wars universe. Let's head on down and let's take a quick look-see. I'm probably going to get a load of comments saying, Captain Steve, yes, this is very canon to Star Wars. I just don't know of it. Let's fly on in. Clawcraft, here it is. Okay, it looks more like a freaking insect. Okay, well, let's get closer to it. How the heck has he built those wings so awesome like that? Look at the curves. Using square panels and little triangular panels. No, this just can't be done. This is... Okay, my jaw is kind of on the floor. I went silent for a second, chums, and that is because I just took a massive, great, big inhale of breath when I saw this thing. What the fudge is it? That's mental. Look at that. Look at the curve. Holy fudge. This is insane. I like it. I like it a lot. It almost looks like the giant creature in Shadow of the Colossus that you have to destroy the airbags from underneath to mount the thing. This is mental. I have no idea what this is. I did not have this as a toy when I was a kid, and I've never come across it. What's this box? What is this box down here? It looks like it's got like um some sort of launch panels for the exocrafts inside. We're going to have to have a better look at this. It's taken me a while to get here in camera mode. I may have to fly down. I think I'm going to hit the barrier any second. Yep, there we go. We've hit the barrier. Right, so yeah, it looks like a jukebox, doesn't it? Let's, let's get a bit closer. Okay, there's a landing pad there. I don't see it. Okay, am I going to fly through the roof? I am flying through the... I'm flying through the roof. Okay, I am... Which way up am I? This feels a bit off. Okay. And I've fallen through it. Has that box just nicked my freaking ship? It's nicked my ship, chums. It's stolen a coated my ship away from me. Right, okay. Um, how do I get that back? <laughs> oh, fudge. Well, I guess I could fly up there and go for that side... No? Can't... Yes, I could go for that side door. I could get back into my ship that way. But then flying out of this thing is going to be freaking interesting, isn't it? 
You know what, I think I might just call my ship in, just in case I get stuck inside of the dang thing or something. But that is pretty darn frickin' gnarly, as far as landing pads go. That is some heck of a bit of build work, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to be heading over there soon. Oh no, that's Pez's base. We've already been to Pez's base. Pez, both your bases are frickin' awesome. Not that I recognise them from the Star Wars universe, but Pez, well done you. Now, I think, but I believe Pez is also a content creator. If you can find their channel, I'll be sure to put a link. Mind-blowing stuff, Pez. Heck yes. And if you don't see a card pop up, check the video description. I'll put other links there if I can find any sort of links to any of these other creators. Right, so here we go. Let's go down to here. So this one is by Gecko GT. Haven't heard of Gecko GT before. But I have heard of the Sandcrawler. So this is very much canon to the Star Wars universe. And if you have been watching The Mandalorian, you would have seen this thing a little bit up close and personal inside of that. Heck yes. And also the Star Wars movies with the Jawas in and selling little droids that are sort of defective. Freaking ace. I love the Jawas. I love the lore of Star Wars. And I'm liking these rust textures already. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. He's put a race sort of track into the actual panelling on the roof. This is freaking great. I'm liking this. Oh, look at those pipe works. Oh my days, this is awesome. This is so cool. Oh, there's so much to love about this build. And I really like the fact that the recess fits the drawbridge perfectly. I'm liking the guns on the top. I'm liking the use of lights. It just looks freaking ace. I'm Oh, the caterpillar tracks. Look at them. Oh, they're so cool. I wonder what that thing is there. That giant nipple thing hanging underneath. We'll have a look soon in a bit. Oh, look at the rear end. It's got an exposed engine. Oh, I bet a lot of that all moves as well. These are all moving parts, aren't they? I wish we had more moving parts, to be fair. We're going to have to go around outside of camera mode and look at the rear end and see that all moving. But again, look at these panels and how they've all sort of been merged together. I love that side crane. Oh, it's just so awesome. It's got so much movement, even though it's static. Oh, we've got to go in there. We've got to have a look-see inside. Oh, look at all these gubbings inside. This looks freaking ace. Yep, I'm going to have to go and do a little mini tour inside. So let's see if we can get in there, chums. This is great. Well, I can peer in through this window and look at that. The gun room, the command room is freaking awesome. I'm loving the use of glass. I mean, I don't think it had as much glass in, as this inside of the film, but you know what? It freaking works, doesn't it? It really does. Right, so let's go and activate this door over here. Oh, this is going to look great. I, I <laughs> oh, Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. Yeah. Gecko GT. This is great. I do love geckos in real life, to be fair. Let's see if we can jump through this thing. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay. It's that nipply thing that I was on about earlier. Let's jump jump back in. Let's fly on up. Let's get back into the hull. Oh, look, you can call in a speeder. That is awesome. Freaking epic. I'm loving this. I'm loving all of these builds so far, chums. You've really outdone yourselves. And keeping it all Star Wars-versed is freaking so on point. This is going to be my bank holiday special video, and for for good reason. This is something special. This is great. If, if you've got a creative save, people, you need to come here. You need to see this in person, because me just doing a tour just doesn't give you a sense of scale. I mean, look at that. And when you're inside, you can actually hear this back end fudding away. It's like, kaboom, kaboom. Oh, look, how the heck did you get the bubble vat already? That's mentals. I like it. I love it. Freaking awesome. Little sneak peek there for the bubble vat. Mind blowing stuff. Wow. Gecko GT, double thumbs up. And I'm giving you a double thumbs up because you know what? You've got a double base here as well. You've got two bases with inside of this system as well. Then Gecko GT. So yeah, I, oh, little satellite dishes. Again, freaking awesome. So much awesomeness about this base. I really like that. I really like your sand crawler. So let's go and fly on over to your other base and system, which is on the opposing moon of the ringed planet. So let's fly on up, let's turn on round, and let's fly on back down. We're heading to this planet on the opposite side of the ringed planet. There we go. AT dealership. Ho oh, ho, yes, I'm in the market for an at -sat. Heck yes, an at, -at st would be quite nice, I think. Or st -AT. Yeah, whatever it is. I'd have one of those, please, to take away. Right, let's fly on down. Let's see if he has got an ATST or ST80. I can't remember which way round it is. Let's fly on down. It always reminds me of the Atari ST. I think it is ATST, isn't it, for the Atari ST? I used to be, <laughs> I 
I used to always think that the Atat was made by Atari when I was a kid. I had an Atari. It had all the little, it's all like chrome switches on. It had a walnut finish. It was beautiful. Yeah. Oh my days. We've got another Atat here. Yes, there's an Atat ST. Uh, yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Oh, look at the sky on this planet. Isn't that freaking trippy? It's like a freaking oil painting. I love the sky. I love this planet and I love this build. Oh, it's one of those weird walkers. Yeah, I never did have this as a kid. This, I think this came out in a later sort of spin-off-y type show. But yeah, I, I, I never had this thing as a kid. And yeah, it looks pretty evil, doesn't it? That thing, stuff of nightmares. I bet I like it. Look at that detailing all inside as well. We're going to have a look in the back end side of this ATST in a minute. Look at that. That's so cool. The little scout walker, as I used to call it. Or the chicken leg. Brilliant. Lovely little ship, that. That is so cool. Let's go inside. Let's have a look. At oh. <laughs> that is so cool. I love the decal on the side there. And oh, that is so awesome. Wow, you guys are freaking epic, each and every one of you. So this is Gecko GT again. And oh, look at this hat. That is as solid as the first one that we saw by um, Will. Yeah, Will Badger. <laughs> cool names as well, people. I'm, I'm loving that. That is so freaking excellent. I like the additional glass here. You know, that's not really canon, but it, it works. Let's head on in. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, that's so cool. It might be canon, actually. I know I've only seen a couple of versions of Atat, but I don't remember glass being there. But so it could be, you know, one of certain Atat models. This is so cool. I love it. That is excellent. Eh? Let's go into camera mode and let's have a better little snazz about the place. Yeah, because it'd be nice to see this again with the sun in the sky, perhaps, as well, wouldn't it? There we go. Chicka boom. Look at that. I love the use of lights as well. Well, the blue lighting looks very cool. What is all that sort of gnarly stuff on the rear end of the Atat? That really adds to it. It's like exposed machineries and things, isn't it? And look, there's an opening at the top of the Atat as well. How excellent is this? I love that. It's like it's got a tattoo. Freaking great. That is awesome. And I think that where I've landed my ship, has that been terrain manipulated? I don't see any other terrain on this planet that looks as gnarly as where they've placed these ships. This is Euclid, creative mode, yet again chums, there's the portal coordinates if you want to come here. If you do come here, I would suggest perhaps not putting down a base, unless it's in keeping, and as good as, what you're seeing already here. But there's one other base here chums. For the life of me, I couldn't get the base computer to appear. I don't know whose build this is, but it looks to be the Galactic Senate or the Imperial Senate or something. It's a Senate of some kind. It's more of a base structure rather than a ship structure like the other bases. And look at this. Isn't that pretty cool? It's flanked by loads of statues, which is pretty darn cool. I will head on over to the base computer and I'll show you the problem that I'm having right now. It's invisible, or it's underneath the floor panel. I have no idea how I can tell you whose base this is. But whoever's base it is, thank you for building it. It looks freaking great. And when you head inside, the Senate is where you actually see the little ETs. <laughs> yeah, the extraterrestrial little bit of an Easter egg inside of the movies. But yeah, how cool is this? Yeah, you can pitch to the Senate. There's all the other seats up there as well. There we go. It looks pretty darn freaking ace. Now, I don't know whether this is all fully rendered, hence why I can't see the base computer. But at the same time, I think you get the rough idea of what should be here. And yeah, it might not be complete. I was wondering, should I actually feature this inside of the video or leave it out? But I'm going to show you what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing, I, I just I can't tell you who built it which is gutting but at the same time well done you whoever you are unknown individual the jedi heck yes right oh, well let's um head on back over here and let's just end on off so i'm back over at the atat sort of dealership <laughs> love that imagine that selling used atats from the imperialistic days it must have happened in the star wars universe somewhere <laughs> yes anyway all of you guys amazing builds freaking mind-blowing Star Wars in No Man's Sky.
Yeah, you really have done it proud, people. Yep, true fans, I'd imagine, each and every one of you, your builds are freaking awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys out there, inside of the viewerverse, have enjoyed this. And yes, please add your comments, I'd love to hear them. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.